guys. Um, so I'm really sorry I lost my voice, but I am presenting on Huntington's disease, and Carly and Megan also helped with this. So um, I worked with a couple residents in the nursing home that had Huntington's disease. Um, so that's kind of why I chose it, just because I've had exposure to it. Um, and so basically, it um, is a progressive breakdown of nerve cells in the brain, and the basal ganglia region is affected, and that's the region of the brain that affects like motor movements and speech and stuff like that. It's mostly caused by genetics, and it can come in the 30s or 40s or earlier in life, and if it's before 20, it's called juvenile Huntington's disease. So some of the symptoms, as I mentioned, relating to the basal ganglia portion of your brain are impaired voluntary movements. So this can be just like, they don't have a lot of control over like what they do with their arms or legs. Um, cognitive disorders, so um, they can't really function um, like you and I can. They aren't super aware of what's going on around them all the time, or they might be confused. Um, and there's also psychiatric disorders um, so oftentimes these people just get super hopeless and um, yeah, basically want to die. And for um, some symptoms are more dominant than others and it also varies from patient to patient. Um, so the way we diagnose it is through family history and physical, neurological, and psychiatric exams. And like we said earlier, it's a hereditary degenerative disorder of the central nervous system leading to motor cognitive and behavioral problems. And so as nurses, we thought it would be um, good to include some nursing diagnosis for um, just how to help better care for these patients. And some would include risk for impaired nutrition because of impaired swallowing um, and stuff like that, a risk for injury based on the jerky movements, chronic confusion, memory impairment, and impaired communication. This is very hard for them to talk when they have this. Um, so some other assessments nurses can do um, are ask some questions like, has anyone in your family been diagnosed with Huntington's disease? Have your symptoms continued or um, stopped? When did you experience these sym symptoms? Has anyone in your family been diagnosed with a movement disorder? Um, and just also some other things like trouble performing work tasks um, and then a few other things with just family history to determine um, if you do have Huntington's disease. Um, so there is sadly no cure, um, but there are medications that can help improve quality of life. And there are also therapies up on the board that can help with this as well. Um, physical therapy is especially important because it helps teach appropriate and safe exercises that can enhance strength, flexibility, and coordination. Um, occupational therapy also helps more with um, not just like doing the physical strengthening of the muscles, but connecting <coughs> the brain movements to those of the um, skeletal muscles as well. And that can be very effective for people with Huntington's disease. Um, so what you can do after you've been diagnosed um, is to obtain support from healthcare professionals and support groups. Um, and then there's also other services that provide daytime care when the disease progresses. And also, like we mentioned earlier, um, people who care for some, someone with Huntington's as it progresses um, must be informed of the nutrition that this person would need, um, like difficulty swallowing, chewing, and fine motor skills, and choking. Um, and oftentimes, softer foods help with this. And there's also a cognitive psychological aspect, and routine is very important for people with Huntington's disease. Um, and just breaking down tasks, um, having a calm and structured environment as they can get agitated very easily. Um, and yeah, just find opportunities for social interactions and friendships as this can also improve quality of life. But oftentimes these people will end up in a hospice, so just being able to plan that out and um, make other preparations such as a living will and advanced directives um, as, they, as the disease progresses. Um, yeah, and so that's all our group has for you today.